Good morning and welcome back to Shanghai. Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day here in Shanghai. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to explore the French concession. It may not look particularly French, especially with these Chinese little ornaments, but it is actually known as the Oriental Paris. So we're going to see China, but a little bit different than usual. This is a really quaint area with beautiful small streets, cobblestone streets. There's all these kind of shops here. They're really handicraft shops. So this part of the French concession is called Tianzi Fang area. There are two main areas here, Tianzi Fang and Xin Tianzi. Um, and this is supposed to be the most beautiful area, the most quaint yeah. area with the nice little streets, very cute, very nice. Very narrow. Very narrow as well. This area is actually called the French Concession because from the mid 19th century onwards, for about the next 100 years, this was ruled by France. So, a concession, I didn't know this, but it is basically like an area that is ruled or occupied by a foreign power. And this part of Shanghai used to be French. So, even though it may look quite Chinese now, yeah. um, that's the reason for the name. Where we were yesterday, it was called the Bund, and that was the former British concession. But the, the French concession is actually only one third of the size of the British concession. It has this Paris looking feel to it. It has a lot of these leafy streets that we're not in right now. But it's like, it's, it's very mazy and it's a little bit disorienting to walk around <laughs> in, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> these are like hand puppets, no? Oh my god! Oh, it's a shark! Hello. It's a massive shark. Okay. How, does, how, do, how does a shark speak? I was going to say hello, but that sounds more like a welcome to the French concession. <laughs> Joel. Oh. Quirky shots. <laughs> Look at this. White, rich, pretty. They also have, oh my god, they also have, they also have tall, rich, handsome. <laughs> or the perfect boyfriend. Yeah, I'll give it to him when I find him. I love that. We have a few places here that sell mostly like souvenir shops, so nothing really special that you can't find anywhere outside the French concession. But then you also have some really designer outlets where they sell leather handbags, fancy shoes, um, the latest in the Shanghai fashion. And it's one of the most happening and also one of the most expensive parts of the city. So this is where the Shanghai people come to flaunt their hard-earned yuans. What I always love about China is how they turn electrical wire into an art form. You can see all these beautifully weaved electrical wires all over China. Oh yeah, it's, it's really art. nice. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should do this in Belgium too. And that's particularly unfrench. There's nothing French about it. That is typical China for you. <laughs> Once you get out of the maze of Tianzi Fang, you enter into these beautiful avenues lined with trees. It's they a lot just, more French here. Yeah, it feels a lot more French here. They have these bakeries and coffee shops and lots of uh, international food to find. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We've been spending a few weeks already. <laughs> Never get over the spitting. <laughs> no. Sorry, there's some construction works going on. Interestingly, the the construction oh, works is made in bamboo stilts. That's so cool. In Europe, these are made out of metal and aluminium, but uh, they're just made out of wood. Pretty interesting. And they just tie them together here using like these normal small metal bands that you wouldn't be able to tell, but construction works ongoing. And they're actually installing, uh, installing the, what do you call it? They're actually installing it right now. So anyway, I was saying, we've been spending a few weeks already here in China and we're really in the mood for a western style brunch, so that's exactly what we're going to do now. What also feels more French about this are the noise levels. It is seriously much more quiet in here than it was in those little streets. It's peaceful here, it's so beautiful. It's so green, tranquil. Oh. We just came to Emil's Artisan Bakery. It's just a normal weekday and it's fully, fully packed. There were at least 10 people lining up before, so we had to wait. Only, luckily it was only like 20 minutes, so it was okay. We just ordered our brunch. Uh, I took some black truffle toast. 
which just sounds delicious. I'm such a big fan of black truffle. And it's so French, so we had to order it in a French concession. And Kim ordered, what did you order? Like also a type of toast with like some marinated salmon and some beetroot sour cream, because it just sounded so nice. It's a bit of a hipster place, but it's really, really nice. It has a very cool vibe, jam-packed, and they have a lot of like French-style sweets as well. And oh, I think this is going to be so nice. It's been so long since we had like some really Western-style food, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Our food just arrived. It looks absolutely delicious. It's such a beautiful plate. So I have the truffle sandwich or the truffle toast. Kim has a salmon toast. We have some cappuccinos as well. Some poached eggs. We're going to dig in. Mm, wow. Mm. It's some freshly homemade bread here with some cream sauce mixed up with truffles, some mushrooms, a bit of ham. Very, very thinly sliced parmesan on top and then some more truffle slivers on top. Oh, this is so good. I also ordered an extra poached egg with it because I want some more smoothness with it. It's crazy. I can smell the truffle from all the way over here, but it smells so good. Life is good. super fresh. You can really taste like the marinade and the beetroot sour cream. Ah, oh, it's so good. If it only tasted half as good as it looks, it would still be awesome. Not too bad for a Wednesday, I would say. Can we have one carrot cake, carrot cake and um, one 17% Belgian chocolate brownie? Okay, somebody chocolate brownie? Yes. Yes, that one. Okay, thank you. Everything on the menu looks so good. We just took one carrot cake and one Belgian chocolate brownie. Didn't know what to order, so I was a little bit confused. Went downstairs, asked one of the ladies who works here what the best thing in the shop is. She told me to take the carrot cake. I normally don't take like the, the carrot option or the more fruity option. I always go for the chocolate, but in this case, Nayib took the brownie, so I was like, gonna risk it for the biscuit or for the cake in this case. Thank you. Thought it was my cake. I was sure it was gonna be the carrot cake. I think they forgot to order my carrot cake because look. They brought the brownie with two forks. Two forks on the table. Carrot cake's there. Thank you. Look at it. It's really good. I don't know what they put in the topping, but it's like it's a little bit like cheese, like sort of cream cheese. But it's really sweet as well. A little bit of cinnamon in there. Oh. After lunch, we're now walking to the other side of the French concession called Xiantiandi. Right? Tiani, 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 something yeah. like that, yeah. And when you walk to the other side, you come across this beautiful park here. It's called Fuxing Park, not Fucking Park. Fuxing Park. Fuxing Park, probably. Fuxing Park, yeah. Fuxing park, yeah. Something like that. Really nice. It's a really Lovely beautiful green. garden, well, park. It's a really more a collection of beautiful gardens, which makes it really special. But it's not really that much of a retreat from the city because you can still hear the cars going by but just to come and relax for a little bit in the middle of the city, it's pretty nice. At least they're almost about it. This is a good place to get fat. That reminds me of a sign I once saw in a meme that said fat people are harder to kidnap. Stay safe, eat cake. Had me some carrot cake, thinking of my safety. Sounds like my kind of place. So we thought, now that we're in the neighborhood, we might as well go to the Shintiandi more shopping part of the, yep. of the area. This is a lot different from where we just were. It's a little less like authentic. Um, it's more like a completely new developed area. Yeah. It looks like it's been redeveloped recently and all new buildings. 
So it looks a lot different. Well, it's a, still a pretty nice pedestrian area with lots of shops. It's more uh, famous brands here, more uh, expensive brands as well, and it looks really nice. But I, I would say I prefer the authentic one though. We've made it back to our hostel. We're on the terrace right now. We had a good time exploring the French concession today. And if you want to see the rest of Shanghai, make sure to subscribe. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Good night.